I just did a search for a client who's looking for a house to lease. They're looking for a very specific area because they want to be in a certain school zone. I found a house, it was the right price, but I looked a little bit further and noticed that something was questionable. The house isn't even in the neighborhood that it's listed in. You need to make sure you hire a competent agent. When people are looking for houses, they can set up automated searches based on different search criteria. One of the most common is the neighborhood because they want most people want to live in a specific area. If your agent doesn't list the name of the community properly and or doesn't pin it on the map properly because people can search by drawing an area on a map and anything that falls into that area will pop up in their search criteria in their search results. If it's not done properly, they'll never see it. So in the case of this home, it's listed as being in a different community than it actually is. So if someone's looking to move to that specific area, they may never see it. It will cost you thousands of dollars and tons of time on the market when it should not. I've seen things as bad as people pinning houses in completely different provinces. I don't know how it happens, but it does. I am getting out of the office for a quick lunch break with my friend Brad, and then we'll be back to work shortly thereafter. Do I look strange holding this selfie stick? Pretty sure I look like an idiot, but it works. So I'm gonna keep doing it. Brought to you by, brought to you by, Heisman. And now I'm doing something I've been dreading and putting off for a year and a half. I forgot my sunglasses and it is freaking sunny out. This sucks. First day back, done. It has been a year and a half since I walked through those doors and I feel pretty good. I'm glad I went, but I'm pretty sure tomorrow I'm gonna be really sore. I'm back home, we're getting ready to go out. It's Brad's 46th birthday, so we're all going to the keg. Love you. Bye. Bye. Smile. Get out of here. Bye. Bye. I'll see you in a bit. We're leaving Tessa with Mike and my mom to babysit while we're out today. Okay, bye mom. Bye Adrian, have a good time. I'll see you in a bit. Everything's good Adrian, no worries. Tessa will be just fine. <laughs> Tessa, don't drink this. <laughs> Are you gonna let daddy go? Can you give me a kiss? Mm -hmm. Okay, goodbye, I love you. Big bottle of crown. Humongous. That's three liters of crown. <laughs> It's seven to 10, I'm just heading into my first appointment and I'm tired. Appointment one is done. We've got a new listing coming up end of February, 2200 square foot, gorgeous, madame built home. If you're in the market, keep your eyes on our Facebook page. I am heading to my next appointment. It's now 10 after one and I gotta go to Brampton. Brought to you by, brought to you by, Heisman. It is now eight o'clock, Sunday night. I did end up going to see a movie. I watched The Fifth Wave. Don't watch it. Waste of time, waste of money. But it was nice to get out, grab some popcorn. And now I'm back at home. I'm gonna spend some time with Alicia and Tessa before she goes to bed. And we'll see you tomorrow.